Today I want to introduce uh, knowledge how to resolve the system bad image format exception when we are debugging or running Gen5 native client C sharp application. Here is the details of the list uh, exception. You can see from the left of the screen. So cannot load file or assembly pivotal gen file DLL or one of its dependencies. An attempt was made to load a program with the incorrect format. Then we can demonstrate uh, how to reproduce this exception in two ways. One is uh, we can debugging this uh, C sharp application from Visual Studio by any CPU platform. Secondly, it's, uh, uh, we can run this uh, C sharp application from console. At first, let's uh, debugging this C sharp application. So you can see here it's a, a simple C sharp application, and then we can debug in release and uh, any CPU platform. You can see from the screen that uh, it throw out the system better image format exception here. Okay. Then we can also uh, reproduce this from console. Let's build this uh, solution at first. You can see that we generate the exe file. Let's run. This application. Then you can see that uh, it also throw out the uh, same exception. Okay. Then well, what's the reason? Uh, what's the root cause of this exception? So we can see from the uh, Microsoft website uh, on this exception. Uh, this exception is uh, stored when the file format or DLL or uh, executable doesn't conform to the format that the common language runtime expect. So it also uh, have several uh, possibilities uh, for example, the uh, early versions of uh, .NET framework utility, such as the uh, IODESN EXE or install UTL EXE. It's used with the assembly that was developed with the uh, late versions of the uh, .NET framework. The other possibility like uh, uh, load an imaged DLL or EXE. Uh, as if it was a .NET framework assembly. Uh, but uh, in our case, uh, the most probability should be here. Uh, so DL or EXE, it's loaded as a uh, 32 assembly, but it contained 64 features or resource uh, because Genfire native client 10 uh, only provide the 64 DL, uh, DLL and when your application is uh, referred to any 32-bit uh, DLL and also you use uh, any CPU platform so 
it may uh, load as a 32-bit assembly. So that's the reason why it throw out this kind of exception. So uh, the solution uh, it's uh, very simple, just like uh, here mentioned. To address this uh, exception, set the project platform property to here it's uh, 64 and recompile. Okay, then we can demonstrate how to resolve this issue. So go to the build configuration manager and then solution platform. Uh, we can create a new one. So select the 64 bit and then OK. Then you can see that uh, it, we create a 64 bit platform. Then we can recompile this application. Okay, then we can confirm uh, whether it resolved this exception or not. Before that, we can see that uh, there's no any entries in the uh, example regions here. And then switch to the sixty-four bit folder. So let's run this application so you can see it works. And then we can confirm the result. Okay. Actually, it generate generate an uh, entry into this region. Yeah, and that's all uh, for this uh, uh, knowledge to resolve the list uh, better image format exception. Thank you for your listening. Bye.